Look, check this out. This is Desmond. Desmond is here for the first freaking time. All right, boys and girls, grab your picks and start to flick. It's all in the wrist, and don't shy away from picking out an afro, okay? Look, this, this is something I got to tell you about Desmond. Desmond, he wants a specific look, and by specific, I mean he mentioned waves. Now, clearly, he's got some missing areas, but it's cool. We can still finesse, all right? We're going to finesse a little bit. We're going to go ahead and work our way to a lower length now i had a hard time envisioning how this was going to go down because between the front and the crown just about the crown area it was just light enough for me to think twice and move very very slowly just to figure out what i was going to do because when he mentioned that he wanted to have waves i'm thinking to myself hmm. okay um waves think fonts think waves waves do we just go with a lot of length and lay the hair down and, and miraculously have some type of wave pattern laying down do we do we you know leave a lot in the fringe area and have like a little like flop going on and then line it up and from there we just like frankenstein the rest of the cut because i mean look at what we got to work with like where do we go from here Okay, so I am just trying my best to figure out how I can give him what he's expecting and what he's gonna have to deal with. Okay, all right, so look, Desmond, we have just finished washing your hair, and previous to that, we did a combination of the one and a half and the one garden, and a little bit of the two, to get your hair to where I want it. And to lay it down with the blow dryer and a soft bristle brush doesn't take much, it doesn't take long, so it shouldn't take you long when you do it yourself, okay? And so, the idea is to lay the top down, fade the sides. The fade could be affected by where that curve in the head is. I don't know if you noticed the comb. I'm keeping in mind that the curve is where it is and I need to keep this fade beneath it. You need to keep the fade beneath it, okay? So I went ahead, started my half section, and by half I mean the blade all the way open. I created about an inch of a section. And after that, I kind of move up and debulk from that curve. And I'm going to start fading down from the highest point down to the lightest point. The lightest is pretty much the half. You know what I mean, beneath that is the ball. And you already know how that goes, right? Now, if you want me to break this down with detail, guys, make sure you follow me on the 245 Academy. We've been lit lately in the live a lot of people get to uh, interact with me so if you want to interact with me and get a breakdown of what i do on all my videos go ahead and follow me on the tomb 45 academy a link is below After 
fading out one side and fading out the other side, we are now meeting both those sides in the middle. I like to leave the middle for last. Lately, it's been working out better for me. It's been easier for me to maintain uh, the shape or the direction in which the fade goes. You know, sometimes fades, fades can be a little lopsided, right? And I don't want that. And I've always searched for the better way of going about it. I've done the typewriter, which is the side to side all the way across. And I've done fades where I just fade in sections. And lately, fading in sections has been kind of like working out better for me. Um, I like it. Uh, I haven't been really playing around with different clipper systems, different guard systems, but it, it, it'll come, it'll come in due time. But let's worry about the foam that we're placing on Desmond's head. Now, again, guys, it's been a while since he's cut it low. I don't know if I mentioned that. I also didn't mention that he told me that the reason it was looking the way it was looking is because he was braiding his hair. Yes, Desmond was braiding his hair and that's why he had a bit of an undercut going on and and it's been quite a while since he's since he's had it this low, right? So I told him, look, I, I support your the wave idea. I support it. Now I told him realistically, it's not gonna be looking like how the waves look on IG or TikTok or all, all that stuff. You know, it's not gonna look exactly like that, but I can give you a look that you might enjoy. And so, you know, he trusted me and I went ahead and proceeded with laying the hair down. And you know, I've been using a cap on top of the do-rag so I don't have to tie the do-rag down. You can still keep it compressed. And right after that, I go ahead and get the, the hooded blow dryer. And I had it on high heat in the beginning. Then I would say after like five minutes, seven minutes, I put it on medium and then like a minute of cold. All right, so after taking the do-rag off, I went ahead and kind of cleared off some of the area that I'm about to line up with aftershave. Uh, I feel like after you lay the hair down with some setting lotion, it kind of creates a layer of that product on the scalp. And you know, you don't want too much of that. It's gonna be a little bit uncomfortable for your client. And remember, I'm about to use a lot of enhancements to kind of give them a more, you know, full look around certain areas and mainly the front. We're gonna also cover the, the crown area a little bit. And you know, I'm using the 245 Beam Team Machine. I'm using the Shung Cuts Hair Clutch Enhancement Card. I'm clapping my hands a lot, I'm sorry. I'm also using the uh, black and brown 245 No Drip Color Enhancement. So look, I've been doing color enhancements here and there for like four and a half years, almost five years. And the way I used to do it in the past was, it was a headache. You would typically have to use an enhancement brush, then a, uh, another brush, the little small black brushes. It was just a lot more tools. And it kind of takes you longer on the service because you're using way more tools. And the fact that I'm down to maybe three, two to three tools total to do this service, I prefer it. So it's it's a convenience thing. It works well. The way it goes with the mat. I mean, one day I'll I'll go over my station. Let me know in the comments below if you want me to go over my station, and I'll make a video of me going over my station. But look, I went a little bit dark with it. I was a little trigger happy. Okay, so I'm lightening it up a little bit with more aftershave, and I'm just tapping away. All right, I'm tapping away. I realize I was a little trigger happy. I get it. I was shooting away. I was shooting too much. So after I lighten it up a little bit, I come back with some fibers. Now I'm using the dark brown fibers, uh, not necessarily jet black. Uh, I'm not picky with the type of fibers that I use. I'm not, the, I don't have a, a company of preference. I am kind of tapping away, releasing some of the fibers, stepping back, and I'm, I, I got a little trigger happy right there. And look, I feel like this is looking good, and I'm not the only one. There was somebody across from us that was appreciating what was going on. And look, I'm pretty sure it was his first time of noticing this type of service. And maybe, maybe he wanted it himself. Hmm? So look, at this point, after I go about drying the color enhancement, I come back with the trimmers and then the razor. I'm not using any shave gel on this. I want it to stay dry and look, there's already layers of product on top of that area around the corners and that basically is the layer that we need to use the razor. It's not gonna irritate him, I promise you.
Listen, Desmond, I wanted to change your image instantly, okay? Understand this, bro. Look, listen, bro, listen. I couldn't even let you leave with the silhouette that you walked in with. You know, I know you were rocking it for a while, but please, Desmond, you deserve a better look. You can't go back to this. It's too late. You, my friend, now have a brand new look. We gotta keep it going, Desmond. We gotta keep it going, all right? So I'm just gonna give you a few rules. This is what you got. Every time you get a service just like this, Desmond, look, just keep in mind, it's not gonna look the same if you got a lot of wear and tear in your lifestyle. But if you wanna keep it for two, two to three days, look, just keep it away from water. That's one, I get it. We all know that one. Wear a do-rag, wear a wave cap, preferably a do-rag, because wave caps, you tend to move them around a little bit and then, you know, it just can get a little messy from there. Make sure you put it on it's nice and snug before you go to sleep or before you do any type of hard activity. But if you're gonna keep up with it in that way, and once in a while, fill it back up with a little bit of fibers, go and, go and find you some. Remember, dark brown. Remember to get you some type of hairspray just to keep it nice and tight. And other than that, bro, I'll see you next time, Desmond. I know that you are out of state, but you literally came all the way over here or a cut. Thank you. <laughs> this is good. This is good. I am wired. <laughs>